Hello everyone, welcome to Aspire Academy. Today we are going to deal with the subtopic Kingdom Protesta. Already we have covered up Monera Kingdom. Okay, so biological classification which we have seen in that the Kingdom Protesta, where does it stands and what are the characteristic features of the organism belonging to the Kingdom Protesta? So this is the class 11th topic. So we will uh, see what are the organism which belongs to protesta what are the characteristic features so let's come kingdom protesta as we know kingdom protesta they are the organism they are mostly single cell take a single cell organism pro eukaryotes and are placed under the protesta so as you can see this diagram these are the eukaryotes organism okay because they have the proper nuclear membrane now all single cell eukaryotes, jitne bhi single cell eukaryotes hai, they are placed under this protesta. Okay. So, kingdom protesta is a link. It is a link between prokaryotic kingdom of Monera. Kyunki humne jaysay previous lecture mein dekha Monera jo tha, kingdom Monera, all they are unicellular and they are prokaryotes. But the protesta, they are the eukaryotes. The prokaryotes that are uh, Monera or protesta jo eukaryote hai, so this protesta is a link. Okay, so we can simply say it is a link between the prokaryotic kingdom that is the monera and the complex eukaryote. Jo aage eukaryotes aane wale hai, like fungi, plantia, animalia. Okay, so the complex eukaryotes and the bacteria and all prokaryotes ke beech ka link hai this protesta. Okay, so these are the link between kingdom fungi plantia animalia egg side hai monera egg side hai and the link is protesta so it include unicellular jitne bhi protestas hai theek hai they are unicellular they are eukaryotes and microscopic they are eukaryotes because they are having nuclear membrane but yet they are microscopic without microscope we cannot see okay like uh, amoeba ho gaya, paramecium, euglena. So, all this come under this protesta. So, autotropic plants kuch hai, thik hai? They are also coming under the protesta kingdom. So, autotropic plant ko agar dekha jaye, they, uh, they are the protestant algae. Plant agar hai autotrops, thik hai? In this protesta, so definitely the trees and herbs so nahi honge, they will be algae. Thik hai? Yaha pe jo algae ho ga, wo autotrops ho ga. And isi protesta kingdom mein agar aap heterotrophs dhoondoge, they will be the all protozoans. Okay. So heterotrophs animals, when we are searching, so all the protozoans like amoeba, paramecium and all. Decomposers, when we are searching, all fungi. And fungus, kaun se fungi? Slime mold. Slime mold belongs to this protesta, but the rest other fungi ki leto alag kingdom hai humare paas. Okay, kingdom fungi. But only the slime molds belong to this protesta. Now, Kingdom Protesta was first, it was proposed by Ernest Haeckel in 1886. As we have seen the Kingdom classification, two Kingdom classification, three Kingdom, four Kingdom, five Kingdom. Okay. The first time this protesta was included in the Kingdom classification system, include kis ne kiya? Ernest Haeckel ne kiya tha. In the three Kingdom classification jab aya, okay. Uh, it was not in the three, but in the four kingdom classification by Ernest Haeckel, it was introduced. Now, we will see what are the several characteristics of the kingdom protesta. They are mostly, jitne bhi protestants hai, amoeba hai, euglena hai, paramecium, dinoflagellates, okay, diatom, slime mold. So, they are mostly aquatic organism. Okay, the most important characteristics protesta ka kya hai? They are aquatic. Many protestas they are found in the water bodies like and water bodies mein milenge but kaise? In the form of planktons. It can be phytoplanktons, it can be zooplanktons. Now, cytoplasm is always in motion. So, whatever the cytoplasmic content will be there in this organism, it will be in motion. The phenomenon, this type of phenomenon, when uh, it is seen that the cytoplasmic mat material, they are in motion. So, that type of cytoplasm is known as cytoplasmic streaming or cyto, it is cyclosis. It is cyclosis or cytoplasmic streaming. Locomotion also occur in this organism. They can move. 
So for locomotion, they are having flagella. As you can see, this euglena is having flagella. Amoeba, they have pseudopodia for the movement. Okay. Now, paramecium also have the hair-like structure that is known as cilia. Paramecium ke body ke surface ke upar kya hota? Cilia hota for locomotion. So, we can mark the locomotion occur through flagella, cilia, pseudopodia and contractile vacuoles also and mucilage extension like in slime mold. So, mucilage extension, then contractile vacuoles ho gaya. So, contraction ke through bhi they can move. So, flagella and cilia when present, agar flagella or cilia present hai, so they will be uh, shown like 9 plus 2 pattern microtubules ke arrangement mein dikhega. Theke? Microtubules will be arranged in the form of 9 plus 2 pattern. Now, the nutritive mode, how do they derive their nutrition? So, that is seen variable type of nutrition method. Theke? That means uh, the nutrition pattern is not fixed in this. Either they can be photosynthetic, that means Agar wo photosynthetic honge, they can prepare their own food. So, they will be holophytic. Ingestion. If they will ingest their food, okay, holozoic hoga, ye phagotrophic hoga, then absorptive. Absorption ke through agar they will derive the nutrition. So, they will be saprobic or saprophytic bhi bol sakte ho, ya parasites bhi ho sakte hai. Parasites ho ya saprotrophs ho, so they will be just absorbing the nutrition for the, from the other animal. Autotrophs honge, photosynthesis hoga unme. Ingestion, that means they will derive the nutrition from the another either by phagocytosis or by the holozoic nutrition pattern. So, in this way, these are the nutrition pattern of the protestas. Now, most of the protestas, they are free living. Okay, so freely if they are living in the water surface, okay, so in that time what they will do, they will perform aerobic respiration. But some of the protesta, they are the bottom dwellers or they are found at the bottom of the aquatic bodies. So at that time, what they do, they respire anaerobically because at the bottom they will not get enough oxygen and in that case, uh, anaerobic respiration hoga. Now, most of the protestas, they are photosynthetic. That means they can perform photosynthesis. So, they will be called as a producers of the food in the ocean and in the fresh water also. So, these protestas, when they are photosynthetic, they can prepare their food. Okay, producers kehlaenge and large amount of the food is pre prepared by these photosynthetic protestas. Now, food reserves are also seen. Okay, uh, the protesta, they used to store the food in the form of glycogen, in the form of starch, in the form of Paramylon, one of the important carbohydrates, which is more than photosynthetic protestas. Mein milte hai. Now, some of the protestas, they are also found that they are parasitic. So, some kuch parasitic hai, kuch kya karte hai? symbiotically, symbiosis ke process se, hai? symbiosis association mein, they live or reside in the gut of the animal. Hai? Digestive tract of the animal rehte hai, symbiotic uh, association jis mein kya hota na, human being ya animals ko bhi kisi tarah ka harm nahi hota and this protestas also they are living freely. Okay. So, paras, uh, parasitic ke saath saath symbiosis association mein bhi they are just found and they also few act as a decomposers. Now, asexual reproduction also take place which is quite common in this protesta and occur through budding or Jo, jitne bhi aap dekh sakte ho, asexual reproduction hoga that occur through budding. Hai? Budding ke through hoga, binary fission ke through hoga, multiple fission hoga, binary fission as we know, the organism divide. Hai? Ek parent organism se do daughter cells bante hai, daughter organisms bante hai. Then budding as seen in the yeast. Hai? To budding ke through bhi they also grow. Binary fission bhi hota, multiple fission during the unfavorable condition also take place. Now, Plasmotomy, sporulation, cyst formation, these are the very common method of the asexual reproduction. Now, sexual reproduction also take place, but with the help of non-jacketed gamete, okay, gamete angia. That means, uh, gametes, jo honge, they are not uh, covered and they involve meiosis. So, meiosis ke process se or karyogamy, okay, uh, this is also seen in few of the protestas. But the most common method is asexual reproduction, mein, budding. Then uh, binary fission, multiple fission, plasmotomy, 
देन स्पोरशन जो कि अमीबा में भी होता है प्लाज्मो डीएम में भी होता है मल्टीपल फ्यूजन सो दिस आर वेरी कॉमन इन दिस प्रोटेस्टाज नाउ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ प्रोटेस्टा ऑलरेडी वी हैव सीन नाउ द न्यूट्रिशन इन द प्रोटेस्टा हाउ डू द प्रोटेस्टा दे परफॉर्म देयर न्यूट्रिशन ठीक है हाउ डू दे द प्रोटेस्टाज डिराइव देयर न्यूट्रिशन नॉट परफॉर्म सो प्रोटेस्टा दे हैव द फॉलोइंग डाइवर्स मोड ऑफ द न्यूट्रिशन बहुत अलग अलग तरह से वो अपना फूड डिराइव कर सकते हैं फोटोसिंथेटिक ठीक है फोटोसिंथेटिक प्रोटेस्टाज आर देयर ओके so the photosynthetic protesta they are holophytic they are also known as holophytic so in this mode of the nutrition jaise naam se hi aap dekh rahe ho photosynthetic that means they can prepare their own food from carbon dioxide and water by utilizing sunlight as in the plant it is seen carbon dioxide or oxygen will be there sunlight ke presence mein and the pigment chlorophyll all will be involved so sare एक साथ जब ऑल द रिक्वायरमेंट बेसिक रॉ मटेरियल फॉर द फोटोसिंथेसिस इज प्रेजेंट सो दे कैन परफॉर्म फोटोसिंथेसिस नॉ दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रिपेयरिंग फूड बाय द प्रोटेस्टाज ओके बाय द बाय यूटिलाइजिंग कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड वाटर इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सनलाइट एंड क्लोरोफिल सो दैट प्रोसेस इज नोन एज फोटोसिंथेसिस नॉ द फोटोसिंथेटिक प्रोटेस्टाज दे आर कॉमनली अगर आप देखोगे एग्जाम्पल डाइनोफ्लैजिलेट डाइनोफ्लैजिलेट जिसके बारे में इन सेपरेट विल स्टडी अबाउट दैट सो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट दे आर फोटोसिंथेटिक प्रोटेस्टाज डाइनोफ्लैजिलेट डायटम यूग्लिनोइड ठीक है डाइनोफ्लैजिलेट डायटम यूग्लिनोइड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस फोटोसिंथेटिक प्रोटेस्टाज देन कम होलोजोइक यहां पर था होलोफाइटिक बट हियर होलोजोइक न्यूट्रिशन और जू ट्रॉफिक न्यूट्रिशन In this mode of the nutrition, the individual or the organism, जो प्रोटेस्टा होंगे they will capture or ingest other animal as a food. दूसरे animals को food के तौर पर खाएंगे So it is found only in the uh, mostly, mostly ये चीज कहा देखा गया Protozoans में कौन से protozoans? Amoeba, Paramecium. They are showing this holozoic nutrition or zootrophic nutrition आपको कहा दिखता है Amoeba में Paramecium में Photosynthetic कहा दिखता है डाइनोफ्लैजिलेट डाटम यूग्लिनोइड ओके एग्जाम्पल्स याद रखना है आपको कि किस ऑर्गेनिज्म में किस तरह का न्यूट्रिशन यू कैन सी नॉ सैप्रोबोइक सैप्रोबिक और सैप्रोट्रॉफिक ठीक है सैप्रोट्रॉफिक न्यूट्रिशन सैप्रोट्रॉप वॉट आर सैप्रोट्रॉप द ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट डिराइव द न्यूट्रिशन फ्रॉम द डेड एंड डिकेइंग मैटर इन जनरल वी नो दस ओके सो इन दिस टाइप ऑफ मोड ऑफ द न्यूट्रिशन द ऑर्गेनिज्म क्या करता है दे रिलीज सर्टन इंजाइम्स ओके इन द सराउंडिंग एंड वेयर द इंजाइम्स कन्वर्ट द ऑर्गेनिक मैटर इन टू द सिंपलर प्रोडक्ट मतलब क्या है कुछ ऐसे ऑर्गेनिक मैटर है उनपे वो क्या करेंगे दीज सैप्रोट्रॉफ ओके द प्रोटेस्टाज दे विल रिलीज देयर इंजाइम्स ऑन द ऑर्गेनिक फूड और उस फूड को क्या करेंगे फूड विद द हेल्प ऑफ द इंजाइम्स विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू सिंपलर फॉर्म ओके सो सिंपली ये सारा रोल किसका है एंजाइम्स विच आर प्रोड्यूस बाय दैट सेप्रोट्रॉप ओके सो ऑर्गेनिक मैटर ऑर्गेनिक मैटर व्हेन इट इज बीन एक्टेड ऑन बाय द एंजाइम्स अगर इस पे एंजाइम्स एक्ट करेंगे ठीक है सो इट विल बी कन्वर्टेड इनटू सिंपलर फूड सिंपलर फॉर्म में कन्वर्ट हो जाते हैं ठीक है तो इसी मोड से द सैप्रोट्रॉप और द सैप्रोट्रॉपिक न्यूट्रिशन इज परफॉर्म सो द प्रोडक्ट आर देन जो अब सिंपल फॉर्म में जो प्रोडक्ट बने हैं दीज आर एब्सॉर्ब बाय दैट प्रोटेस्टास थ्रू द बॉडी सर्फिस ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिज्म ओके नाउ सैप्रोबिक न्यूट्रिशन इज फाउंड मोस्टली इन दी स्लाइम मोल्ड ये कहां पे मिलते हैं आपको स्लाइम मोल्ड में देखने मिलेगा ओके okay. स्लाइम मोल्ड शोज दिस टाइप ऑफ सैप्रोट्रॉफिक न्यूट्रिशन नेक्स्ट कम पैरासिटिक न्यूट्रिशन सो हाउ द प्रोटेस्टा शोज दिस मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन सो सम प्रोटेस्टा गेट द फूड बाय डिराइविंग द न्यूट्रिशन बाय लिविंग इन द बॉडी ऑफ द अदर ऑर्गेनिज्म दूसरे ऑर्गेनिज्म के बॉडी पे स्टे करके ठीक है सो द इंडिविजुअल विच ऑप्टेन इट्स फूड द इंडिविजुअल द पैरासाइट ओके the protesta which behave as a parasite so they are known as 
सिंपली दे विल बी कॉल्ड एज अ पैरासाइट हो गया वो एंड बिकॉज दीज डिराइव द न्यूट्रिशन ऑन दी लिविंग ऑन दी होस्ट बॉडी किसी दूसरे ऑर्गेनिज्म के बॉडी के ऊपर रहेगा एंड देन दे विल डिराइव द न्यूट्रिशन फ्रॉम द अदर ऑर्गेनिज्म तो उस अदर ऑर्गेनिज्म को होस्ट बोलते हैं ठीक है सो द अदर ऑर्गेनिज्म फ्रॉम विच द पैरासाइट डिराइव द न्यूट्रिशन सो दे आर कॉल्ड एज होस्ट सो वॉट आर द ऑर्गेनिज्म कौन कौन से प्रोटेस्टाइट में दिस पैरासिटिक मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन से अपना फूड डिराइव करते हैं दे आर ट्रेपाइनोजोमा गायडिया एंटामीबा प्लाज्मोडियम so these are the most common examples of the protestas that derive the nutrition from this parasitic mode of nutrition next come mixotropic mix naam se hi samajh mein aa raha hai mixed type of nutrition hoga okay it is a mixed type in which organism can can perform two different kind of the uh, different mode of the nutrition do alag tarike se wo apna food derive kar sakte hai example is euglena theek hai in euglena the nutrition is both होलोफाइटिक भी है क्योंकि यूगलिना दे आर ग्रीन इन कलर तो फोटोसिंथेटिक तरीके से दैट मीन दे कैन परफॉर्म फोटोसिंथेसिस अब फोटोसिंथेसिस हो रहा है दैट मीन होलोफाइटिक न्यूट्रिशन डिराइव करे एंड अगेन बाय सेप्रोफाइटिक मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन एज अ सेप्रोट्रॉप रिलीजिंग सर्टन एंजाइम्स ऑल्सो दे आर कन्वर्टिंग दे फूड इन द सिंपलर फॉर्म सो मिग्जोट्रॉफिक एग्जाम्पल सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट है यूगलिना नाउ सिम्बायोटिक सिम्बायोटिक एसोसिएशन में क्या होता है बोथ The organism uh, are not uh, harmed in any way. Okay, so zoo flagellates. Is me aate hai zoo flagellates, and the most important is Trichonympha and Lophomonas. Okay, these are the organism Lophomonas and Trichonympha. These live in the sim uh, as a symbiosis process. Me rehte hai in the intestine of termite. Okay, termites ke intestine me rehte hai and वुड रोचेज रेस्पेक्टिवली ओके सो इन दिस वे ये टर्माइट के इंटेस्टाइन में प्रेजेंट होते हैं एंड वुड्स में भी प्रेजेंट होते हैं सो दीज आर बोथ दे आर जस्ट गेटिंग न्यूट्रिशन दोनों को बेनिफिट होता है एक दूसरे से नो वन इज हार्म सो इन सिम्बायोसिस रिलेशन दे आर रसाइडिंग सो बोथ दिस ऑर्गेनिज्म सीक्रीट वॉट सेल्यूलोज डाइजेस्टिंग एंजाइम वी नो द प्लांट सेल दे आर मेड अप ऑफ सेल्यूलोज तो वुड के ऊपर अगर टर्माइट होता है तो दिस बैक्टीरिया will release certain enzyme digestive enzyme which will uh, just digest the cellulose so they will secrete cellulose digesting enzyme which will convert the cellulose jo cell wall ka component hai use glucose mein convert karke dega and the glucose is shared by both the zooflagellates so this trichonympha and lophomonas both are getting benefited is cheez ko jab glucose mein convert karke mil raha hai to jo termite के इंटेस्टाइन में जितने भी प्रोटेस्टाज हैं और वुड में जितने प्रोटेस्टाज हैं बोथ आर बोथ आर बेनिफिटेड सो इन दिस वे द न्यूट्रिशन पार्ट इज कंप्लीटेड सो रिप्रोडक्शन इन प्रोटेस्टाज ओके हाउ डू द प्रोटेस्टा रिप्रोड्यूस फर्स्टली प्रोटेस्टा शोज बोथ टाइप ऑफ द रिप्रोडक्शन ए सेक्शुअल एज वेल एज सेक्शुअल मोड ऑफ द रिप्रोडक्शन बट द मोस्ट कॉमन मेथड by which the protest they reproduce it it is asexual method so during favorable condition they reproduces asexually agar condition favorable ho supportive ho environmental condition so in that case what happen during favorable condition they reproduces asexually by binary fission and this binary fission is the most common mode of the reproduction now with every division the parent cell reproduces jitna bar divide karega like you can see in this diagram parent amoeba okay this amoeba when the the asexual reproduction take place jab binary fission ho raha hai isme okay binary fission is taking place in this amoeba so first uh, what happen the nucleus get elongated amoeba ka jo apna nucleus hai that get elongated and then finally when the proper development of the nucleus take place then the nucleus get divided and then cytoplasmic content also get separated and finally to the two daughter cells are being uh, developed so binary fission se kya hota one parent give rise to two daughter cell now this cell this cell will further give rise to two daughter amoeba ab is amoeba se aage do amoeba banenge ठीक है अगेन दिस अमीबा विल गिव राइज टू 
two more amoeba and this amoeba again will give rise to two more amoeba so in this way what happened okay in this way what happened the amoeba uh, reproduces asexually by binary fission now with every division the parent cell is dividing and it is producing the two daughter cell okay and which become independent organism and these jo daughter uh, cells ban rahe hai aage chal ke wo khud independent organism banenge and then again they will divide and produce another two daughter cell again the daughter cell will respectively produce the two daughter cells again so other mode iske ilawa there are another mode of the asexual reproduction which is seen in this protista is multiple fission theek hai multiple fission plasmotomy spore formation and budding theek hai ye reproduce protista is various type of method se karte hai here you can see this uh, again the condition favorable nahi ho when the co uh, condition environmental condition is not supportive not favorable then in that case you can see one new uh, cell and their nucleus nucleus mein division hona shuru hua and the nucleus divides mitotically and surrounded by the cytoplasm so baad mein kya hota hai jitne bhi cell the nucleus hai theek hai there develops a cyst सो एक कवर लेयर बनता जाता है हार्ड कवरिंग सिस्ट जो इन्वायरमेंटल कंडीशन अगर अनफेवरेबल हो उससे बचाता है फाइनली व्हेन द इन्वायरमेंटल कंडीशन अगेन बिकम फेवरेबल देन दैट सिस्ट ब्रेक ओके एंड मेनी डॉटर सेल्स आर रिलीज्ड एट वंस सो दैट इज नोन एज मल्टीपल फिशन और ये अमीबा और प्लाज्मोडियम में बहुत कॉमन है नाउ सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन ऑल्सो टेक प्लेस इन दिस protestas okay but sexual reproduction hoga that means meiosis will involved meiosis hoga that means syngamy hoga syngamy mein kya hota hai fusion of both the male and the female gamete okay so fusion of the gamete syngamy and the zygote formation definitely will take place kyunki ye sexual reproduction ko bata raha hai which is major evolutionary advancement like the development of flagella which is seen in this protestas so this will allow the greater so माइटोसिस में क्या होता है जो ऑर्गेनिज्म बन रहे डॉटर सेल बन रहे दे आर द डुप्लीकेट कॉपी ऑफ द पेरेंट बट इन द सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन द वेरिएशन इज टू मच ठीक है क्योंकि जो पेरेंट है उनका एग्जैक्ट कॉपी नहीं होते हैं द डॉटर सेल्स सो वेरिएशन ग्रेटर होगा किसमें सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन में एज यू कैन सी वन दिस इज द एडल्ट ठीक है एडल्ट प्रोटेस्ट है ठीक है इट विल अंडर गो मियोसिस मियोसिस से क्या होगा गैमेट बनाएंगे ठीक है two different gametes will fuse and then the fertilization will take place fir again fertilization ke baad kya banega zygote banta hai zygote will another go mitosis aur do cells bana liye theek hai and then further it will develop into the uh, adult one so by the process of sexual reproduction uh, they uh, perform meiosis theek hai meiosis jisme syngamy hota hai fertilization mein kya zygote bante hai okay so in this way also the protestas they reproduces now classification of the protesta when we are going to classify the protesta it can be categorized into three broad categories theek hai teen broad categories mein hum baat sakte hain ne so first one simply protesta ko kis tarah se likh sakte ho theek hai प्रोटेस्ट कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इन टू थ्री कैटेगरीज तीन डिविजन में बांट सकते हैं फर्स्ट वन इज फोटो सिंथेटिक प्रोटेस्टाज फोटो सिंथेटिक है ठीक है फोटो सिंथेटिक ठीक है प्रोटेस्टाज एंड दैट विल बी एलगी फोटो सिंथेटिक है तो एलगी ही होगा यहाँ पे क्योंकि प्लांट ट्रीज तो नहीं हो सकते देन कम्स कंज्यूमर एंड डिकम्पोजर टाइप ऑफ प्रोटेस्टा and that is slime mold so consumer decomposer consumer okay so that is mold now protozoan protista are also there and the last one is proto zoans theek hai to isme mostly aata hai amoebas paramecium euglena okay now this is the three broad categories which we'll study in detail photosynthetic protesta jaise first wala humne dekha photosynthetic hai they can prepare their food with the help of carbon dioxide water sunlight chlorophyll so photosynthetic protestas are generally they are unicellular unicellular hai but 
यू कैरियोटिक ऑल्सो ओके द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग है यूरी सेल्युलर बट इट इज यू कैरियोट एंड दे आर कॉल्ड प्रोटेस्टन एलगी सो सिंपली क्या बोलते हैं प्रोटेस्टन एलगी बोलते हैं ओके सो फोटोसिंथेटिक प्रोटेस्टाज आर मोस्टली प्लैंगटन्स ओके प्लैंगटन्स एंड दे ग्रो एंड कवर द सर्फेस ऑफ द वॉटर बॉडीज ओके सो द फाइटो प्लैंगटन्स आर द मेजर प्रोड्यूसर्स तो फाइटो वर्ड यूज होता है प्लांट्स के लिए जू वर्ड यूज होता है एनिमल्स के लिए सो फाइटो प्लैंगटन्स दे आर द मोस्ट मेजर वॉट दे आर द प्रोड्यूसर ओके ऑफ द एक्वेटिक इको सिस्टम एक्वेटिक वॉटर बॉडी लेक हो गया ओशन हो गया तो आपको जो प्रोड्यूसर्स दिखते हैं दे आर फाइटो प्लैंगटन्स and they accounts for more than 80% of the total carbon dioxide fixed in the atmosphere so carbon dioxide ke jo cyclic process mein carbon dioxide fixation mein 80% role in protestan algae ka hota hai okay or simply we can say this phytoplanktons they are helping in fixing the atmospheric carbon carbon dioxide now these are the photosynthetic theek hai फोटोसिंथेटिक प्रोटेस्टां देवर उसमें भी सबसे पहले आप देखोगे क्राइसोफाइट्स कम अगर आप फोटोसिंथेटिक प्रोटेस्टां का एग्जांपल देखोगे सो फर्स्ट इज क्राइसोफाइट्स ओके नाउ क्राइसोफाइट्स व्हाट डज इट इंक्लूड इट इंक्लूड ऑल डायटम्स डायटम्स गोल्डन एल्गी ठीक है गोल्डन ब्राउन एल्गी ऑल आर इंक्लूडेड इन दिस सो दे कंस्टिट्यूट द क्लास बैसिलेरियोफाइसी and the most important producers of the marine ecosystem mein agar aap marine environment mein chale jao the diatoms and the brown golden brown algae that are desmids they are the most important producers okay and they are also common in the fresh water so not only in the marine ecosystem but also in the fresh water you can easily see diatoms and the golden brown algae which are acting as a producer so a large percentage of the marine animals depend upon these diatoms and the brown green algae brown golden algae theek hai they are dependent so since they are the producer so organism higher organisms are also dependent on these producers now so diatoms what are diatoms since they comes under chrysophytes diatom kiska example hai chrysophytes ka so most of the diatoms they occur as phytoplanktons theek hai since diatoms they are producers so definitely phytoplanktons honge theek hai microscopic hai they are found in the fresh water and the marine water both now they are microscopic unicellular photosynthetic organism hai they can perform photosynthesis and various colors mein milte hai and in the diverse form so it can be circular rectangular triangular डिस शेप का हो सकता है स्पिडल शेप का हो सकता है इलांगेटेड हो सकता है वेरियस टाइप ऑफ और इवन फिलामेंटस आल्सो दे कैन बी नाउ द सेल प्रोसेस प्लेट लाइक डायनोफ्लैजिलेट्स के जितने सेल्स है दे प्रोसेस द डिस्क लाइक और डिस्कॉइड क्रोमेटोफोर्स प्रेजेंट होते हैं दैट क्रोमेटोफोर्स और यू कैन कॉल एज क्लोरोप्लास्ट दे कंटेन क्लोरोफिल ए क्लोरोफिल सी कैरोटीन्स ठीक है डायटोक्सिथिन ठीक है देन डायडीनोजेंथियम एंड फ्यूकोजेंथियम इज प्रेजेंट बट क्या प्रेजेंट नहीं होता है क्लोरोफिल बी इज एबसेंट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट डायटम्स डो नॉट हैव द क्लोरोफिल बी ओके सो दिस वॉज अबाउट द डायटम्स अब आप डायटम्स में कैरेक्टर्स और देखोगे दे रिजम्बल्स डायनोफ्लैजिलेट्स आगे पढ़ेंगे हम डायनोफ्लैजिलेट्स के बारे में सो डायटम्स लुक मोस्टली सिमिलर टू दिस डायनोफ्लैजिलेट्स एंड हैविंग क्योंकि डायनोफ्लैजिलेट्स के पास भी फ्यूकोजेंथियम होता है एंड दिस डायटम्स ऑल्सो तो थोड़ा सा रिजेम्बलेंस है दे आर यूनिक एज दे हैव डिपॉजिट्स ऑफ सिलिका इन देयर सेल वॉल द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दे हैव सिलिका इन देयर सेल वॉल डायटम्स के सेल वॉल में सिलिका है द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग एंड दे डो नॉट हैव द फ्लैजिला एक्सेप्ट इन द फ्यू रिप्रोडक्टिव स्टेज जब रिप्रोडक्टिव स्टेज का समय होता है इन फ्यू केसेस वी हैव सीन इट वॉज नोटेड दैट फ्लैजिला इज प्रेजेंट बट इन मोस्टली दैट एम देर इज नो फ्लैजिला प्रेजेंट ओके एंड फ्लोट ड्यू टू लाइट एंड स्टोरेज ऑफ लिपिड्स सो दाइनो फ्लैजिलेट दे आर फाउंड फ्लोटिंग ऑल्सो द बॉडी इज कवर्ड बाई अ ट्रांसपेरेंट सिलीशियस शेल ठीक है जो कि सिलिका का बना होता है डिपोजिशन ऑफ सिलिका ऑन दिस सेल वॉल एंड 
for that they are known as frustule so they form large deposit of the silica on the ocean floor kyunki inke jo cell wall hote hai wo silica ka bana hota hai so they uh, just deposit large amount of that own cell wall ka jo silica hai wo deposit hota hai kahan ocean ke floor pe and for that they are known as diatomaceous earth theek hai so diatom agar har jagah unke cell wall present hai so that is known as एट द फ्लोर ऑफ द ओशन सो दैट इज नोन एज डायटामेशियस अर्थ नाउ विल कम टू द डायटम्स दैट मोस्टली रिप्रोड्यूस ऑलरेडी वी हैव सीन बाइनरी फिजन होता है सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन ऑल्सो होता है दैट इन दैट वी हैव सीन सिंगी और ऊगैमी आइसोगैमी दैट टेक प्लेस ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन में डॉटर सेल्स बनते हैं एंड दे रिटेन वन हाफ ऑफ द ओल्ड वॉल एंड सिंथेसिस अ न्यू हाफ मीन्स जो न्यू सेल बनता है हाफ फिफ्टी परसेंट पेरेंट का पेरेंट्स होते हैं एंड नेक्स्ट द डेवलपमेंट टेक प्लेस फिफ्टी परसेंट ड्यूरिंग सेक्शुअल मोड ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन वी हैव सीन द गैमेट फॉर्मेशन ओके सो द फूड रिजर्व इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ऑइल्स ल्यूकोसिन ठीक है फूड भी रिजर्व करते हैं दिस डायटम्स बट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पॉलीसेकराइड के फॉर्म में दैट इज ल्यूकोसिन and volutin globules that means protein nutritious substance we pay jate hain and it is also present now examples of diatoms that is triceratium then pleuro theek hai pleuro sigma navicula simbela amphiblera theek hai amphiplura these are the examples of these diatoms various type of diatoms now इकोनॉमिक इंपॉर्टेंस भी होगा डायटम्स का वॉट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ब्रिंग ग्रिटी डायटोमेशियस अर्थ बनाता है दैट मीन्स वॉटर बॉडीज जो है उनके बॉटम सर्फेस दे आर कवर्ड बाई दिस सिलिका ऑफ दिस ऑफ देयर सेल वॉल सो इट इज यूज इन पॉलिशिंग पॉलिशिंग फिल्ट्रेशन ऑफ ऑयल एंड सीरप भी बनते हैं नॉ डायटम्स आर द चीफ प्रोड्यूसर्स इन द ओशन फ्लोर यस बिकॉज ये प्रोड्यूसर है फाइटो प्लांटम जो होते हैं डायटम्स है सो दे आर द चीफ प्रोड्यूसर The cell wall of the diatom are able to pick up the small impurities. So, ये water bodies को clean करने का भी काम करते हैं. So they pick up all the impurities in the liquid and hence are used in brewing industry to purify the beer. So beer को भी purify करने में use होता है. They serve as the excellent insulator as they are the bad conductor of heat. These diatoms are bad conductor of heat or excellent insulator भी हैं. They are used as a very fine abrasive and the metal को polish करने में भी use किया जाता है. Diatoms are useful as a sound proofing. Yes. So diatoms are the sources of water glass and sodium silicate. Be uh, they can be derived from this diatom and it is a very good pollution indicator. ठीक है. Pollution indicator का भी काम करते हैं. Now we'll see what are the most Apart from that, ठीक है. Apart from the diatoms, the another most chrysophytes, जो बहुत important chrysophytes हैं, they are the golden algae. Golden algae को और क्या बोलते हैं? Desmids भी बोलते हैं. They are unicellular green algae. ठीक है. Unicellular है, green है, and their cell wall has the two distinct. ठीक है. Golden algae, they have the distinct half. Their cell wall का divisions होता है, and sexual reproduction also occur by the process of conjugation. जो कि स्पायरोगायरा में भी होता है एंड दे फाउंड इन द फ्रेश वाटर एंड एक्ट एज एन इंडिकेटर ऑफ द पॉल्यूशन कैसे इंडिकेट करते हैं पॉल्यूशन बिकॉज दे आर फाउंड इन मोस्टली क्लीन वाटर में मिलते हैं दिस गोल्डन एलगी और अगर पानी गंदा है इम्प्योर है सो दे विल नॉट बी फाउंड ओवर देयर नॉट द इम्पोर्टेंट फीचर्स ऑफ डाइनो ठीक है तो ऑलरेडी वी हैव सीन वॉट आर डाइनो फ्लैजुलेट सो वॉट आर द कॉमन फीचर्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर्स ऑफ डाइनो So, firstly, it has been noted that about one thousand species of dinoflagellates are known to us. Okay, so most of these are marine. So, dinoflagellates they are marine, unicellular. They are unicellular but motile, and even they can perform photosynthesis. So, they are photosynthetic organism. Now, body that is enclosed in a cellulose wall. Whole dinoflagellates, so their body is covered by the cellulose wall and that cellulose wall is divided into plates divided into plates which give like an armored appearance that means pure dinoflagellates ko jo that cellulose wall protect them now they have two unequal flagella 
there is two unequal flagella one lies in a longitudinal direction and the other lies in the transverse direction so there is basically two flagella and there is even a furrow between the wall plates so uh, between the wall plates where there is a furrow so horizontal or a transverse flagella is present okay ek hai transverse and uh, this is the uh, one you can see cellulose plate dekh rahe ho aap these are the plate cellulose ka bana hua pla uh, plates hai okay so they are having two flagella this two flagella and there is even furrow furrow between uh, furrow space hai wahi pe uh, the flagella is been present now asexual reproduction is very common okay so dino uh, dinoflagellates they basically reproduce asexually and even cyst occur in a number of the dinoflagellates so it has also been noted that uh, during unfavorable conditions cyst formation also takes place now sexual reproduction has been reported in some of the dinoflagellates and that is the that is keratium mein dekha gaya hai okay so it is isogamous and and isogamous what is isogamous so when the sexual reproduction take place in this dinoflagellate so one case is seen isogamous that means both the gamma, uh, gametes that will be very similar and they will be motile okay so motile isogamous and the another is an isogamous that means both the gametes are uh, different that is uh, they are dissimilar and they can have they can be motile or non motile and next the life cycle is also been noted that they shows zygotic meiosis okay meiosis ke process se they perform their life cycle and the life cycle continues uh, the most commonly it is seen in keratium then uh, gymnodium and the gametic meiosis also take place and gametic meiosis is most commonly seen in noctiluca सो नॉक्टिल्यूका में गैमेटिक हमें म्योसिस का प्रोसेस देखने मिलता है एंड जाइगोटिक म्योसिस इज कॉमन इन दिस क्रिएटियम एंड जाइनोडीनियम ओके सो दीज आर द कॉमन बेसिक फीचर्स ऑफ डाइनोफ्लैजिलेट्स नाउ मोर विल सी युगलीना ठीक है युगलीना और ऑल्सो यू कैन सी ग्रीनिश कलर के दिखते हैं ठीक है सो दे आर यूनि सेल्युलर एंड दे आर इवन हैविंग फ्लैजिला दे आर हैविंग फ्लैजिला सो इट इंक्लूड युगलीना लाइक so in this euglenoid mein kya kya included hai euglena like unicellular flagellates which have plant like characteristics and why plant because uh, the greenish color ka appearance dekhne milta because they have chloroplast and within that chlorophyll is present so this is the structure of euglena pellicle outermost covering hai theek hai of this whole body and flagella whip like structure reservoir is also there nucleus hai contractile vacuoles chloroplast is also present okay though this is an organism animals ke category mein aata hai but yet they are having chlorophyll in addition to some animals like character so animal like character and plants like both is seen in this so they ingest the food particle and carry on photosynthesis so here this is a mouth part se they ingest the food particle and even since it, there is having chloroplast so they can perform photosynthesis also example kya hai euglenoid ka that is euglena fecus and ferenema theek hai ferenema this all belongs to this euglenoid now important feature kya hoga is euglena ka theek hai this euglen uh, euglena which is the example of euglenoid theek hai so they are having Uh, the important feature that they are unicellular and free living found in the fresh water ditches pond damp soil all these places we can see euglena they have a pellicle instead of cellulose cell wall no cell wall theek hai cellulo uh, cell wall ke bajaye kya hota hai there is pellicle okay their uh, body is covered by a thin layer that is known as pellicle now pellicle is very thin and flex flexible thin and flexible and allow a change in shape so this pellicle allows the changes in shape so pellicle is most important characteristic feature of euglena so they have two flagella one short and one long so uh, just they are having two flagella okay so two flagella is present 
one arising from here and the another one so two flagella one long and one short and it helps the euglena to pull to through the water means water mein movement mein as we know flagella and cilia kya karta movement mein locomotion mein help karta hai so this flagella is also helping uh, the euglena to move in the water so they have light sensitive orange spots which is known as eye spot their body euglena ke body mein there is visible orange red spot called eye spot or stigma near the flagellum base near the base of the flagella there is stigma okay and it enable it to move toward or away from the light so light ke liye sensitivity is been provided by this as we can see stigma is present theek hai flagella ke bahut kareeb hai okay and uh, so this stigma helps them to be uh, sensitive toward the light okay so now the dominant photosynthetic pigment chlorophyll is also present which is green in the appearance now they have mixotropic nutrition mixotropic nutrition why it is said because they can perform photosynthesis theek hai green color ka chlorophyll hai isliye wo photosynthesis bhi kar sakta hai and even they can ingest the food okay so they are having mixotropic mode of the nutrition and store carbohydrate as paramylum theek hai similar to starch to so para uh, paramylum ke form mein store bhi karta hai which is been ingested and the another way they can perform photosynthesis now asexual reproduction in this euglena is by longitudinal binary fission theek hai longitudinally the body divides and then starting at the flagella end so at the flagella end flagella jahan se hai from that part the division of the body starts and the flagellum duplicate before the cell divide so kya hoga ki flagella duplicate karega before the cell will divide and during unfavorable condition palmella stage is found palmella stage which is mostly common in this uh, euglena it is only found during the unfavorable condition जैसे अमीबा एंड ऑल प्लाज्मोडियम इन दैट वी हैव सीन अनफेवरेबल कंडीशन में दे जस्ट सिस लाइक फॉर्मेशन डेवलप एंड हियर पालमेला ठीक है दैट स्टेज इज फाउंड इन द अनफेवरेबल कंडीशन नाउ द स्लाइम मोल्ड स्लाइम मोल्ड व्हाट डज इट लुक लाइक इट इज वेरी यूनिक टाइप ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म ओके इट इज वी कैन से वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड पिक्यूलियर ऑर्गेनिज्म व्हिच शेयर देयर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स बोथ विद द एनिमल्स and fungus theek hai so little bit animals ke jaisa little bit fungi ke jaisa dikhta hai so peculiarity which has been noticed in this organism so for that they are known as fungus animal commonly known as fungus animal what are the important feature of this slime mold so most of the species they are terrestrial okay so they are terrestrial and occur in cold moist and shady place now even in the woods in the decaying logs decaying leaves so all the places where we can seeing decaying bark even the humus pe bhi aap dekh sakte ho this slime mold uh, they grow now the vegetative part do not possess the cell wall so they are not having cell wall and they are they either occur as a free living multicellular amoeboid mass of the protoplasm is seen as in the plasmodium okay amoeba like movement or aggregation of amoeba that is pseudopodium or even pseudopodium is also been visible so generally we can say they are free living and multinucleated amoeboid mass means koi fixed shape nahi hota hai iska that is why now these organism occur in a form of a slimy mass slime ke jaisa dikhta hai during the vegetative phase and therefore they are called as a slime mold because during their vegetative phase they are similar they are very similar to the slime uh, slime ke jaisa dikhta hai that is why they lack chlorophyll and are heterotrophs there is no chlorophyll seen and they, for this they are known as heterotrophs and the mode of nutrition is heterotrophic now the slime mold possess a large number of the pigment granules in their central nucleated portion so in their nucle nucleus part they are having the pigment large number of the granular pigment and for that which impart coloration wo pigment jo hai that give color that color can be either white gray yellow orange red brown for that slime mold ka color isi pigments ke upar depend karta hai 
okay if the any of the pigment is present in a large amount so for that you can see slime mold the color, their color will also appear the same so the color developed due to the pigment anthracene very important one the pigment which is present in the slime mold that is anthracene now asexual reproduction also take place in the slime mold but by the process of fragmentation okay and sclerotia and by formation of sporangia fragmentation ho gaya sclerotia ho gaya and by the sporangium formation so we know fungus generally spores ke through uh, reproduce karte hai so since they are fungus like animal okay so even spores are also helping in the reproduction sexual reproduction also take place in this slime mold but that is the fusion of the gametes take place okay so fusion of the uh, gametes now by flagellates swarmers or mixamoeba mostly us uh, organisms mein dekha gaya hai so the mode of the sexual reproduction is isogamous iso means both the gam iso as well as an iso again do jo gametes honge they will be motile okay and they will be theek uh, hai uh, similar honge okay and an isogamous mein kya hota hai two different gametes okay so their uh, body uh, matlab dono gametes mein differentiation hoga they can be motile and non motile so is way se bhi do uh, ga uh, gametic re reproduction take place fusion hota hai gametes ke through fusion hota hai and that is finally leading to sexual reproduction now we'll see protozoan protista theek hai ab aate hain protozoa theek hai which uh, the protista which are protozoan in this mostly we have seen amoeba aata hai paramecium aata hai theek hai you uh, also we can see uh, chlamydomonas so protozoans mein kya kya aayenge the protozoans are heterotrophs protozoans they are heterotrophs and live as a predator or a parasite so parasitic as well as predator life they are surviving and they believe to be primitive most primitive mana jata ki nahi protozoan protista and they are primitive relatives of the animals that means animals ke bahut hi primitive relatives mana jata hai protozoans ko there are the four major groups of protozoan protozoans ke char major groups hai amoeboid protozoans ठीक है अमीबा लाइक देन फ्लैजिलेटेड प्रोटोजोन्स आर आल्सो देयर देन सीलिएटेड प्रोटोजोन्स आर देयर एंड स्पोरोजोन्स सो दीज आर द फोर मेजर ग्रुप्स ऑफ द प्रोटोजोन्स नाउ फर्स्टली वी विल सी एमीबॉइड प्रोटोजोन अमीबा लाइक ठीक है दीज ऑर्गेनिज्म अमीबा लाइक प्रोटोजोन्स व्हिच आर एमीबॉइड दे मोस्टली लिव इन फ्रेश वाटर सी वाटर एंड इवन मॉइस्ट सोइल में भी पाए जाते हैं ओके some of them are enta amoeba hestolica which is a parasite enta amoeba which belongs to this protozoans they are parasite they move and capture their prey by putting out their pseudopodia yes pseudopodia which is a false food they help in capturing the prey and uh, as which is seen in amoeba as we can see this is amoeba and this false feed theek okay, hai pseudopodia okay this is pseudopodia and you can also see contractile vacuole is present ectoplasm water vacuoles are also there food vacuoles bhi hote hain because amoeba they are unicellular and one simple body is going to perform all the function now the body is without periplast okay it may be naked or has a siliceous cytoplasm or calcareous shell can also be present theek hai now they are uninucleated one nucleus binucleated also can be there theek okay. hai either they can be uninucleated or binucleated as seen in arcella binucleated wala case hame kis mein dikhte hai arcella or multinucleated also like pleomexa theek okay. hai so amoeba simply we can see one nucleus is there but binucleate ho sakta arcella then multinucleated protozoans are also there that is pleomexa so this was about amoeboid protozoans which is amoeba like okay flagella are usually absent and present in some of the developmental stage okay normally we see there is no flagella in amoeba but it is saying ki amoeboid protozoans jo hai unme in few cases it is seen that during the developmental stage flagella may be present flagella also develop when food becomes scarce okay 
and they swim away to the region where the food is abundant. So food नहीं है, so they have to move for the food for taking the food. During that time they develop uh, the flagella for locomotion, but not in amoeba. And very rare case in the other amoeba protozoans. Now the nutrition is holozoic, like animal like. They engulf directly. They take their जो uh, भी organism है, उन्हें they ingest. Now asexual reproduction occur by binary fission. Definitely यहाँ पे asexual reproduction amoeba में जो सबसे common है, that is binary fission. And even multiple fission take place. Swarm spores and budding also can be seen in protozoans, protista. Now, sexual reproduction occur by syngamy, okay? And marine forms have silica cell on their surface. So, marine jitne bhi amoeboid honge protozoa, so they have silica cell on their body surface. Now, comes to flagella protozoan. The protozoa which has flagella which helps them in locomotion. So they possess for flagella organism, flagellated protozoans. They have flagella only for their locomotion. Now they may be either free living, be हो सकते हैं flagellated protozoans, aquatic parasite, commensals and symbiont. ठीक है commensalism या symbiosis जिसमें both the organisms are mutually benefited. इस तरह से they can uh, just live. So zoo flagellates, they are generally uninucleated, and occasionally they can be multinucleated. But generally they are uninucleated. एक ही nucleus होता है. Their body is covered by a film pellicle. Again, like we have seen uh, Euglena में जैसे हमने देखा था वैसे ही यहाँ भी their body is covered by pellicle. Now nutrition is holozoic, saprobic, that is saprophytic. Same है दोनों and parasitic mode of nutrition is seen in this flagellated. Now this organism, which is visible in the diagram, this is Lismania. Okay. Now asexual reproduction occur by binary fission, and sexual reproduction has also been recorded in some of the forms. Various species of the protozoans which causes disease. So, ये flagellated protozoan है. They are going to cause diseases in the humans. Now, firstly, that is trypanosoma. Okay, trypanosoma, which leads to sleeping sickness in the humans. Now, Lismania donavani, this leads to Kala Azar. Now, Giardia, this leads to Giardias. This disease is known as Giardias. Now, Trichomonas vaginalis, this leads to Leucorrhea. Okay, these are the disease or ये कुछ protozoans हैं जिसके वजह से diseases होते हैं. Now, we can see कि there are the various disease also caused due to this protozoans. Now ciliated protozoans. Okay, cilia-like structure is there. Cilia hai and which helps in locomotion. So they are aquatic. So mostly this is this uh, structure we, uh, diagram you are seeing here. This is of paramecium. Okay, which belongs to the ciliated protozoa. Now they are aquatic. They are actively moving organism and because of the presence of cilia. Cilia hai, is the locomotion possible as me. Now they have a cavity or a gullet that opens to outside for the cell surface. Now you can see here, this is the oral cavity. Oral grooves we बोल सकते हैं. There is a hair-like structure which is uh, covering the whole body. That is the cilia. Cytoplasm भी present है. Contractile vacuoles are also present, and even food vacuoles are also there. Now there is cell mouth. यहाँ पे जो paramecium का mouth है. Anal pore is also there. The pellicle is covering the whole body surface, okay, and one micronucleus and one macronucleus. Two nucleus are micro and macro. Now, uh, this is all about the paramecium. Now, they have a cavity or a gullet that opens outside through the surface. Now, they co coordinated movement of the rows and the cilia, okay. Of rows of cilia causes the waste laden with the food to be steered into the gullet. So now this cilia will help in the locomotion, and even the here vestibulum is there, okay, which is also covered by cilia. So ये क्या करेगा? Food particles को अंदर की तरफ, ठीक है? To the cell mouth, it will allow. Now, example is paramecium, watercella, 
Opelina. These are the organism which belongs to the ciliated protozoans. Now their body is covered by pellicles. We have seen nutrition is holozoic except in the few parasitic form. Baki sare ciliated protozoans mein holozoic nutrition hota hai. Now ciliated new, uh, protozoans they have uh, nuclear dimorphism. That means two nucleus is there. Okay, two type of the nucleus, large macro uh, macro nucleus, okay, and smaller one which we have seen that is micro nucleus. Two nucleus hoge. Ciliates often possess minute ejecta ejectable trichocyst for defense. Yes, they have trichocyst for defense. Okay, ye trichocyst hota hai defense ke liye. They have even contractile vacuole for osmoregulation. Now, asexual reproduction takes place by transverse binary fission. Here, the binary fission hota hai, that is transverse and cyst formation occurs under unfavorable condition. Sexual reproduction takes place by the means of conjugation. Now, this is about ciliated protozoans. Now, we will come to sporozoans. Spore formation takes place and that uh, is common in this few organisms like pl plasmodium. So, this include diverse organisms that have infectious spore-like stage. And that spore-like stage is very much infectious, okay, in their whole life cycle. Now, sporozoans are endoparasite. Ye organisms ke body ke andar hote hai. Locomotory organelles can be cilia, flagella, pseudopodia, okay. So, locomotory organelles like cilia, flagella, all these are absent. Okay, nahi isme cilia, flagella, pseudopodia kuch nahi hota hai. Nutrition is parasitic. Thik hai? So, by the parasitic mode of nutrition, they are going to derive their food. The body is covered with elastic pellicle. Ye jo outermost covering of the body hai, that is made up of pellicle, but that is el elastic. And or even we can call it as a cuticle. Now, contractile vacuole is not present in this. The another most thing is asexual reproduction occur through multiple fission. Very common or very important hai ki plasmodium mein multiple fission ke through they are going to reproduce. Okay, multiple fission. Now, sexual reproduction take place by the process of syngamy. The most notorious is plasmodium that is malarial parasite. Plasmodium kya hai? Malarial parasite. They cause us malaria, hai? which has a Staggering effect on the human population. Yes, malaria se bohat, hu, humans they are uh, totally affected. Most of the cases it leads to death also malaria. So the most notorious it is being said. So this plasmodium leads to mal malarial parasite. Okay, which causes malaria. Now you can see pellicle, pellicle, uh, pellicle ka body hai, plasma membrane is also there. Me Merozite coat is there which protect this plasmodium. Now, ribosomes bhi hota inke paas. Okay, micronema, microtubules, these structures are present in this plasmodium. Okay, so they reproduce by spore formation. So, simply we call them sporozoans. Now, we have came to this topic. Okay, uh, so the, uh, we have uh, covered up all the classification of protesta. Okay. So, we have al already seen what is the uh, euglena, thikhe, characteristics jo humne dekha, protozoans ka. So, all this about protozoans, okay, dinoflagellates ke baare mein padha humne, okay, slime mold ho gaya, diatoms ho gaya. So, all these belongs to this protesta kingdom. So, now we have came to the end of the topic. Next lecture will be on the kingdom fungi. Thank you for watching.